welcome to Linux Hints YouTube channel. Today in this video we are going to talk about two dimensional arrays in C programming language. So what is a two dimensional array? To understand a two dimensional array we are going to look at your screens right now. So you have an array containing four elements. Let's fill up this array with some random integer values let's say 3, 4, 2 and 6. Now if we look at this array and we consider it to be a table then we can say that this table contains of one row and four different columns. But what if I was to say that I want a table that contains uh, let's say three rows and three columns or four rows and four columns. Then your table would look something like this. Simply add on three more rows, combine them to make up a matrix and there you have a table containing four rows and four columns. This is known as a matrix. And when you define or initialize this matrix within a C programming language, this whole array which started off with one row and four columns now contains four rows and four columns. Hence the term two dimensional arrays. How do you define or initialize a two dimensional array? To understand the definition of the two dimensional array, Let's go back to our 1D array and let's look at the initializing statement of that one dimensional array. So we have the keyword integer and then the name of the array which I'm going to use as ARR and then within the square brackets we pass on the number of columns or number of elements within that array which was 4 and then we set it equal to the elements within the curly braces. Now as you can see that our square parentheses or square brackets contains one dimensional array. So if we want a two dimensional array, we would obviously use two square brackets. So for an array of four by four or four rows and four columns, we can use a syntax similar to data type followed by array name followed by square brackets containing the number of rows followed by another pair of square brackets containing the number of columns, which is then set equal to curly braces and each element or each entry within the curly braces is another pair of curly braces enclosing elements in the columns. So like the traditional one dimensional arrays, we still have to access the element from within the array. So if you look at how to access the element from a normal array, we have the array name followed up by the square bracket containing the index of the value that we want to access. So to get a value from a um, two dimensional array, let's put up a new 2D array containing of three rows and three columns. And then let's fill up this array with the following integer values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. And since we already know that the index value of array start from 0, we put down the index values for rows as 0, 1, 2 and for columns as 0, 1, 2 as well. So if now we want to access this value 5, place at the center of this matrix or 2D array, we would have to use the row number one and the column number one as well. So that means to access or to get this value five, we would use something like this ARR followed up by the row number one and the column number one, which would give us the value five. So let's create a two dimensional array of integer data type. And for the name, I'm going to simply call it ARR. For the number of columns, or number of rows I want 3 and for the number of columns I want 3 as well. Then I'm going to put it equal to curly brackets and then each entry within these curly brackets is going to be a row. So my first row is going to contain values like 1, 2, 3 and then I'm going to separate one row from and the other row using another comma and my second row is going to contain elements like 2, 3, or I should say 4, 5, 6. Similarly, my third row would contain columns with values 7, 8 and 9. So now we have our array. To traverse through this array, we use a combination of two for loops which are nested into each other. The outer for loop is used to traverse through rows while the inner for loop is used to traverse through the columns. Let's write down those for loops. So for the rows, we have four and as indexes start from zero, I'm going to write integer i is equals to zero. And I already know that my, the length of rows is two because I have three rows. So the index would be two. So i is less than three, i plus plus. 
Now this should give us a new row on every iteration. And inside this for loop, I'm going to create another for loop. For the index values, I'm going to use integer j is equals to zero. Similarly, we have the limit three, and then we're going to increment this j by using j plus plus. To display or fetch the elements, I'm going to use a printf function, and I'm simply going to use an escape sequence of percentage d, and for the value, I'm going to use array place at ith row and the jth column. So if we try executing this code, we should get all the values of our 2D array. Let me just zoom in a little more. So as you can see, we have the output 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We are fetching all the elements from our 2D array, but it is not well structured. So to structure it in a better way, I'm going to use the following statements. So I'm going to separate every new row with a new line spacer. And then for every element, I'm going to give a space. And at the end of a row, I want another square brackets. So this should format our output in a much cleaner way. So now if we put our semicolon over here and a semicolon over here, save this code and try executing it, we should see a much better formatted code. And there you go. Now this looks much more like a 2D array. So we have our elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And if we want to simply access this one particular element, we can use the statement printf. I'm going to start off with a new line. And then I'm going to use the escape sequence percentage d. And the value is going to be a 1 and 1. So this should give us the value of 5. So let's try executing it one last time. And there you go. We have even accessed our single particular element from our 2D array. And that is it for two dimensional arrays, traversing through two dimensional arrays and getting access to elements in two dimensional arrays in C programming language.